pregnant. We are pregnant. I am really excited for Stephanie to become a mom. I think it's going to be really fun for fans to see what Stephanie's like as a parent. And I think it's going to be great to have sort of that interaction of like DJ and her parenting style and Steph and her parenting style and Kimmy and hers. I, I think it's going to be a really fun dynamic for the three women in the house with, with all the kids. And there's going to be a brand new baby on the show. So it'll be really fun to see that. Yes, here, just go right to mommy. There you go. I think Stephanie as a mom is, I, I think she might be a little more uptight and nervous than anybody thinks she's going to be. Um, but I think she's definitely going to be different than, than DJ and, and Kimmy. Uh, I think she's not going to be kind of as crazy and wild and, and uh, wanting the approval like Kimmy does. Remember when I told you I didn't need your help? Turns out I really did. You still need me. I don't think she's going to be quite as uptight as DJ is and like rigid. Which is why I've decided you're going to pull up that bad grade in summer school. Summer school? Mom, you can't be serious. I think she's going to have a lot of fun being a mom. But I, I, if I had to pick one person that she's going to be like, it'll probably be, probably be Uncle Jesse. Hey, hey, look alive. Uncle Jesse's here. She, I think she and Jesse have a lot of similarities. Did someone order womb service? <laughs> well, on season four, you will see that Kimmy being Stephanie's surrogate really changes their dynamic. And they, their, their frenemy relationship uh, really becomes closer and more friendly it's not you know there's not kind of the rivalry it's they still drive each other nuts in certain ways uh, but I think the real love and genuine friendship that the two of them share really comes through and it's it's a really sweet and beautiful story and I I'm excited for people to see it I can't have children a lot of fans have reached out uh, and discussed you know the fact that we talked about um, the infertility and surrogacy and all of these things on the show and it was something that doesn't really get talked about a lot so I, I was really grateful that we that we brought it up and we discussed it and we you know didn't just sort of blow by it but really you know had had a few episodes that were really about Stephanie's struggle uh, with with having wanting to be a mom and not being able to carry her own child uh, and I love that I love that we were able to to bring that to an audience that may have not otherwise felt heard. Hail, party of two. I think people love DJ and Steve. They're, I mean, it, they couldn't be more sort of all-American, wholesome couple. Wow, after 22 years apart, we're finally back together. You know, for a lot of people, I mean, they watched the original show, you know, 20 some odd years ago. So I think it's like, it's that thing that you just hope that DJ and Steve have always been together, like all of these years. What do you think? Too much? Oh, not enough. The best part about working with them as adults is that I get the jokes now. <laughs> all the all the like inappropriate stuff that kind of went over my head as a kid that I was laughing at but didn't really understand. Now I get the jokes and they're even funnier. And we're such a family. Like it's it's kind of like when you grow up and all of a sudden you're not sitting at the kids' table anymore and you're finally at the adult table for for the holidays. And there's you just have a different relationship with the adults in your life that have watched you grow up. And, and that's kind of how it is with, with Bob and John and Dave. I mean, they are family to me and they've watched me grow up, but it's like we have this different relationship now. And I, but I know that they, you know, love me no matter what. It's, it's wonderful to have this extended family. I'm officially naming the three of us the She-Wolf Pack. <laughs> oh, Candace and Andrea and I are, I mean, we really are three best friends and we, we talk all the time when we're not working together um, and funny enough sometimes even when we are working together like we talk almost even more <laughs> like it's like when you get home from school you want to talk to your best friend that you just spent the whole day with um, but we you know our relationship has changed over the years and Candace and I joke about it but you know when we were kids we totally we would have squabbles like siblings like I just wanted her to laugh at my jokes and she just wanted the annoying little sister to go away. Steph please Kimmy and I are talking about school. And we joke about it now because now we couldn't be closer um, and, and she really is like this older sister um, that you sort of joke about that dynamic that like you drove each other nuts as kids but now like your best friends.